What's going on everybody? My name is Chris and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Yellow for the game of a color. In the last episode, we made out the Sea Route 19. Holy crap. This place is so massive and there's so many places to go. Actually, it's no. I love swimming. What about you? I mean, I love swimming. What about you? These are clearly guys. I learned this in the last episode. Um, I was concerned about getting lost. But I said, oh, let's just look up a map just, just to be safe. And crap, I forgot to swap out Miles for freaking Pikachu. Choo choo. <sighs> anyway, so yeah, I looked up a map, and this place is literally a straight line. It goes straight down. It's really wide, but it goes straight. There's no, even the walls are just straight walls. They're not even like, you know, curved walls or, you know, have a little bit of variety in them. They're literally just straight walls. So it's like, what? Like, why? I mean, I don't know. That is only C Route 19, though, and I'm pretty sure this goes into another route, which might have more interesting stuff on it. This doesn't even have items on it. When I looked up this place, there were, like, items and all that scattered, but then I was like, oh, no, this is only Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Belly Flop. Okay. Although there are trainers on here, and I'm not entirely sure where these trainers are. So that might be interesting. You say anything else funny? I could be Pokemon up swimming. Man, it'd be scary to swim this far out, because then would it feel like, you know, you got stranded, or you couldn't swim anymore? This looks like- is this not a girl? I tried that Pokemon, but it was a no-go! Well... 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 Uh, it's still a guy?! Really? Really? Well, if we don't start one-hitting these guys with a Thunderbolt, I'm gonna be really sad, actually. <laughs> we're only over, like... No, we're not over, but we're almost 10 low levels above them, so... These Pokemon are probably gonna be pretty weak. The only Pokemon you could actually get, or run into a wild encounter in here, is freaking Tentacruel! Not even, like, Tentacruel or anything, just Tentacruel, that's it! There is nothing else we'll find in here, and it's kinda silly. We can find other stuff if we fish, but it's like, I'm not gonna fish. Sea King, I don't think we've seen Sea King yet. Whoa, he looks so cool and badass, obviously they evolve form of Pikachu. Yep, that's what Seeking is. It's definitely not Goldie. Don't be ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. Or redonk donk. Or a splonk a splonk. Help! Help! Wait. 145, that's it. Poke dollars, that is. He gave me 145 Poke dollars. Yeah, the fish for sea Pokemon. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Alright, I, I don't kind of don't want to mission. See, like, look at this. Those are all straight walls. Hey, our first wild encounter. I wonder what it's going to be. It's gonna be it. Wow, no way. I've never seen one of these in my life. Crikey! And I think this is the lowest level I could go to. You know, I'm not gonna even use anything like that to care about on it. Uh, no. Most we can see is level 5. You can see level 5 tentacles in here. Of course, I leveled up from a freaking level 15. Why not? Holy crap! You guys are just all chilling. Just all hanging on to each other. These waters are treacherous. They look pretty calm, actually. <laughs> Uh, I have a love-hate relationship for when the, when like, you know, there's water- Oh god, I'm definitely skipping this fight. For when there's like waves out in the water. Cause I love feeling the waves, but sometimes, you know, the waves like, can get annoying and such. Okay, we're just gonna cut this battle, cause seriously, no one wants to watch. This guy has 30 freaking tentacles. Uh, see you guys in a second. Holy- That's what tentacruel looks like in this game? I didn't even know that! He looks pretty badass. Tentacruel is the evolved form of Tentacool. I know, that's hard to believe. That thing can kill him?! Holy crap! That's pretty shocking, actually. Okay, we're running- we're already running low on that. Let's just body slam. That's actually really cool. Huh. Neat! Then we defeated the Swimmer. Otherwise, he just had stupid Pokemon. Oh! Dangerous! You don't have Tentacools like I thought he did. He had, like, Staryu's and- I got a cramp glub glub. Welp, you're dead. Goodbye! Uh, swimming's great! Sunburns aren't! Yeah, I never get sunburned. Chichi grew a level 40! Oh my good lord! And this is a beauty, believe it or not. Shocker! Why are you swimming out here in a dress, ma'am? My boyfriend wanted to swim to the sea for a while. Oh, she has a boyfriend. That's the saddest thing I've ever heard about. Everyone looks the same when they're swimming. Seriously. I swam here, but I'm tired. Oh, I bet you are. Yay! I'm exhausted! So off screen I actually found out uh Lapras is so big it must keep you keep you dry on water. Okay, that's cool I guess. 
Actually, oh, good lord. I can find out that guy in the surfing house with a Pikachu. Oh, I just love you, right? Can I have it if I win? Yes. Yes, you can. I say yes because I know she can't win. But yeah, that guy in the surfing house, apparently if you have a surfing Pikachu, he lets you do a mini game. I don't know if that means you could teach Pikachu surf or not. I'm really confused about that, actually. I don't know what that really means. I try to look it up, like, mean, like, kind of while in the midst of battling. I can't really figure out... Oh! The surfing Pikachu was featured in a minigame exclusive to Pokemon Yellow called Pikachu's Beach. This could only be activated by transferring a surfing Pikachu from other games. Huh. So I guess the only way to play that minigame, if you feel like it, is by transferring a surfing Pikachu from... Quote unquote other games. What does that even mean? Other Pokemon Yellow games? But what? How's that work? Can he trade your Pikachu? And if so, does that mean it's like when he trade it, it gets a surfboard, or do you need a surfing Pikachu before trading it? And like, is it other Pokemon Yellow games? Is it like other? I, I don't really know. I'm really confused actually. I don't know how this works. <laughs> yeah, but apparently there's a mini game in this game that I did not know about. Well, there are mini games, but. You know, there's a mini game that I did not know about, rather. Actually, I think I did say that, but let's just use Thundershock and kill this guy. That's really all I wanted to talk about, but we're almost done with this battle, so let's hope we can kill these things in one hit. And see, so we're level 40 and we still haven't breached. We're level 41 and we still have not breached the, like, 100 health. Th he sh Pikachu owns Thunder on his own? Heck yeah! Now, this is a bit tricky. Do I want to get rid of. Thunder Shock or Thunderbolt? Because Thunderbolt is pretty powerful, it has 100% accuracy, but doesn't have very much PP. Thunder Shock, however, has a lot of PP, isn't as powerful, but does also have 100. You know, let's get rid of Thunder Shock. Why not? Thunder is pretty powerful, though, so. Thunder is the best, like, version of uh, the Thunder series you can get. Let's test it out on this Poliwag. It only has 70% accuracy, I believe. Yep. We're totally gonna see that a lot, aren't we? Yeah. Don't choose Bubble Wee. Don't miss again. Are you serious? Oh god, this is gonna be a thing. This is gonna be a thing that I never hit. Ah. I mean, theoretically, out of the ten times I use it, I shall only miss three times, so. Oh, let's face it, I'm gonna miss a lot more than that. Anyways, finally defeated. Oh, I lost! And that battle is way too long winded because I stopped to read for a second. It's a long way to go to the Seafoam Islands. I should really probably go and like, heal up. Oh, great! Just because I realized nobody wants to freaking see tentacle battles, I'm just, I'm just gonna go ahead and like start cutting them right from the get-go. You know what, let's do that. So at least I can cover the most screen possible. Because I do want to fight every trainer. What, you ready? I've probably already missed one. Can't you swim? Heck no, who swims? Pfft. I'm actually shocked at how many people can swim. I've always been convinced that swimming is something like Almost every child goes through, you know, it's like school. Everybody goes to school. Why doesn't everyone learn to swim? That's a pretty valuable lesson to learn. But no, schools only teach you freaking polynomial functions and stuff you're never gonna ever need. Stupid schools and their stupidity. Rah, grumble, grumble. Why am I showing this battle? Seedra? You haven't seen Seedra? You know, this always happens. I'm like, okay, let's cut this battle out, and then they have a Pokemon I haven't seen yet. Not that it really matters, because he's dead. <laughs> yeah, bye, Seedra. See, it's- wait, 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 I want to point this out right now. See, it's not saying, um, with Mr. Mime, it was saying Mr. Mime gained a boosted 700 whatever experience. With Pikachu, it's- it's gonna say, uh, gained 498. It doesn't say- Boosted, it just says it gained. So, what does that mean? Anything? Ouch! Torpedoed. I'm really confused about that actually. Ray Pokemon sure looks fine. It is. And the water shell here! Well, that's good. I love sandbars out into the water. Cloyster! I don't think we've seen this guy either. I wonder if Thunderbolt will kill him. I mean, Phantom, quote unquote. Oh, yeah, I totally did. Eh. Uh, yeah, level 42, level 42, and finally we have over 100 HP with Pikachu. That took years. Splash! Okay, Magikarp, calm down. Oh, I check out That looks just, 
Look at that. Does that not look like a girl sprite? Well, only when it looks like you head on. When it doesn't, it looks like it totally looks like a guy. But when it looks like you head on, it totally looks like a girl sprite. Holy crap, this thing goes forever. What the heck is this place? Where are we? Seafoam Islands? I don't even know what? What is this place? I don't even know! Do you want to be here? I thought we were going to get to a town. Oh god, I don't know if I want to be here. <laughs> I thought it was led to a town. Krabby? Wild Krabby appeared. We haven't seen this guy. Do you want to be- I feel like I should look this up because I feel like the stuff here that- Oh. Oh, missed. I was like, oh. Oh. Yeah, I use your wall. I wonder if Krabby's like part rock, part water, or something like that. Well, no, I'm not sure. I was gonna say, well, if it was part rock, then I would have wouldn't have been affected. But no, that's ground type. Or is rock type also not affected by uh, electricity? I don't really know. Vice grip. Oh, that kind of sucked, actually. <laughs> uh, come on, paralysis. Actually, do something for us. Jeez. Okay. Um. I don't- Do we want to be here right now? I don't know! I'm so confused for another Krabby. Hi, Krabby. <laughs> okay, Pikachu's almost dead. So we're gonna go ahead and swap him out right now. Ah, uh, Kiwi hasn't had any fun lately. Or has he? I don't even know. <laughs> um, Steve's still pretty low level as well. You know what? We should probably go with Steve. Steve's- Steve could really use the- like, Well, not really. He's pretty powerful. Let's face it. Ah... The introduction of strength puzzles, kind of. This requires strength to move. Indeed it does. I'm really glad I am really glad I brought Shrippy with me. Strength. There we go. Blue, blue. I can now move boulders. And you can't continue to move boulders until you leave the screen. So, drop that down there, I guess. I, I don't really know why. Perhaps we should go see what happens down below. Okay. Let's go take a look at where that... This leads us to. Oh, it just leads us here. I guess we'll push this down more. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, really? Okay, I'm back. And I don't think I want to be here yet. Um, I want to come back to this place. Just because I don't really think I'm prepared to take on this place yet. We will return one day. But for now. We exit, I think, and- ALL THE WAY BACK HERE?! WHAT?! WHAT?! I THOUGHT THING WOULD JUST TAKE ME ALL THE CAVES! ARE YOU SERIOUS?! Uh, I WILL SEE YOU GUYS BACK AT THE ISLAND! QUIT IT! STOP BUGGING ME! QUIT IT! There's a huge cavern underneath this island. We should be able to destroy with it. Quit it! Stop bugging me! We used to have this thing called a leapfrog. Oh, I was like, what? Why do you say repels with effects war up for? Okay, I did already fight these guys. Uh, should I use another repel? Probably. Am I going to? Probably not. Um, there we used to have a leap. No, a leap. Pa yeah, it's called a leap pad. And you just have these kind of interactive stories on it. You just flip the page, and then you, you'd have this weird pen thing, and then you press it, and then um, they would it would talk to you and interact. It's like a freaking book that you could touch things in, and then it like plays little sound bites. What's that? Is there another seafoam cave? I think it is. Let's go check it out, anyways. Uh, by the way, we're back to the seafoam caves. In case you know that you didn't, that this didn't include you. Oh, can we not get there? Oh, apparently we can't get there. Um. But apparently what I found out recently, like, this was way back in, like, the 1970s. <laughs> Just kidding. This was, uh, probably early 2000s where we had, um, this. Me and my sister. When I say we, that's what I mean. And what I actually found out recently is they still exist. I went to my girlfriend's cousin's for, uh, her sixth birthday. And apparently those still exist and they have been advanced and they pretty much look like iPads now. I did not know. I don't think they're called leap pads anymore, but it was the exact same thing except, you know, rebranded. I think it was still called leap something though, leap learn, or maybe not. I might be wrong about that. But like, I was shocked that those still exist because like I haven't heard a thing about those in forever. And most of the time, like I know I don't play with toys anymore and all that. But I mean, most of the time, like you would think you would hear at least something about those, but apparently not. Yowch, and yeah, I'm level 43 with Choo Choo now, so that's pretty fantastic. Can I not go any other way? 
Want to float with me? Kind of. You're attractive. I will float with you. <laughs> is there- there's nowhere else to go, apparently! So, how do we get- Is there no way out of here? I'm actually really confused. Really confused, actually. So confused I'm about to look at a map. Oh, I see. You do have to go through this place, because the only way to continue on with this route is to get to this cave and then swim down. But see, the only way to get to that cave is to go through this cave. Okay, it makes sense now. There's actually a, one of the legendary Pokemon in here, and that's why I was like, we don't want to do this yet, but I guess we do, apparently. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching this, guys. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like subscribe already. My name's Chris, and in the next episode, we won't pretend we haven't been in here yet, and then tackle on the Seafoam Caves. <laughs> Peace!